Hey guys, this is Games here, and today I am going to be teaching you how to be the best you, you can be by being the best me you can be, even though you'll never be as me as I am. So that, yeah, that's right. You are going to be learning from the master how to make a hand turkey. So, make, that's right, we're going to be doing classic Thanksgiving craft, turning your hand into a turkey. So, what you're going to need for this, you're going to need some colored pencils, a regular pencil, and a piece of paper. You're also going to need an elastic band. Just a quick warning though, this is an advanced tutorial. If you want an easy tutorial, go look for some, go look for one somewhere else. This is an advanced tutorial on hand turkey making. So the first step would obviously be to trace your hands, but this isn't, this isn't any, this ain't, this ain't no amateur hand turkey lesson. We're not going to be tracing one hand. We are going to be tracing two hands. Now, the, the thing is though, uh, we're, that's right, two turkeys. So the, the problem with that is um, if you trace with one hand and then you trace the other one with the other hand, that's not going to be even because one of your hands is going to be like not as dominant. So you need to do it with the same thing. But the problem is you can't draw one hand with that same hand. So what we're going to do, we're, gonna, we're just going to take our pencil right here. Mm. Set up some mess, by the way. Just take the pencil, put it in your mouth, and then. Just want to carefully trace around. And there you go. You got your two hands all traced. But the thing is, um, I don't know if you guys can see this very well. But it's very, very light. So what we're going to do is we're going to trace over that with the same hand both times. So let me just, uh... You don't have to do it, like, super... Like, you, you got to make sure that you're doing it really well. By the way, I am qualified to be teaching you how to do this. I have been making hand turkeys, like, doing nothing but making hand turkeys for over 20 years. So I've got a lot of experience. So the next step would obviously be coloring them in. So the first thing, so once you empty out your box, you got all your colored pencils right here, what you need to do is you need to take, uh, let me move the camera over, you need to take all the colored pencils, put them down like that, and then you take the, the elastic, uh, and you just stretch it over all of the pencils. And I like, this is a, this is a very uh, interesting technique. I meant to get myself, probably. It's called, I, I call it the, um, the Ultra Pencil. So once you have your Ultra Pencil, you're just going to take it and just uh, get it all over the paper. Now, don't even worry if these aren't natural colors that you would normally find on a turkey. That's all right. Because you're, you're probably wondering, like, who... Like, since when do turkeys have all these different colors in them? Well, you know what I say to that? No. Who's, who's the turkey master here? I'm the turkey master. Don't question my methods. Once you have your beautifully crafted turkeys, one of a kind, of course. Uh, wow. This is just... Oh, you know what? They need beaks. So, in order to make the beak, you're just gonna... Take your Ultra Pencil, unfortunately you're going to have to break it up, take out the yellow one, and make a little triangle. Now, um, and then you're going to want to do the other one where the other beak is too. Now, normally I recommend using the Pythagorean Theorem to make sure that your triangle is on point, but I'm not doing this for the, I'm not going to do that for the purpose of the tutorial, um, because I can do it in my head. Because that's how good I am at turkey making. Wow, this is truly the single greatest hand turkey that I have ever seen. The single greatest I have ever made. It's just blowing my mind right now. But you know, you know what? It needs a frame. This is a, so amazing. I'm going to frame it and it's, it's going to be great. So let me just, uh, let me just take my, my blue paper right over here and, uh, I'm just gonna 
put the camera over here while I just put my paper, this, this paper, with the turkey on it, onto my blue papers. And just do that. Wow. This is, this is some serious realism that I have accomplished with my amazing hand turkeys. Look how realistic these hand turkeys are. Purely incredible, handmade hand turkeys. So that's going to wrap it up for this tutorial. Um, don't be upset if you can't get it on your first try, because I am a legend. So, if you got a little bit better at, um, at uh, making hand turkeys from this tutorial, take your turkey hand and slap it right on that like button. And um, please do subscribe if you haven't already. Yes. And, uh, yeah, once again, thank you all so much for watching How to Make Hand Turkeys Like This. And I'll see you all next time. Okay, bye!